This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. This moose belongs to me. Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago and he knew, just knew, that it was meant to be his. He thought he would call him Marcel. He began following Marcel, explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. Much of the time it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening, but Wilfred knew he was, mostly because he followed rule four very well. Not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. Sometimes the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored rule seven, going whichever way Wilfred wants to go. The moose had a very good sense of direction, and Wilfred did not, and because the moose was particularly poor on Rule 7, subsection of, of 6, maintaining a certain proximity to home, Wilfred quickly learned to bring some string along on their outings so he could find his way back again. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with Rule 11, providing shelter from the rain. Or Rule 16, knocking down things that are out of Wilfred's reach. Good work, Marcel. One day, as Wilfred discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Someone else thought they owned the moose. Rodrigo, you're back. Wilfred was dumbstruck. This moose was Marcel, not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken, and Wilfred thought it only proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me, he explained. And to prove it, he called Marcel. Heel! But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Good, Rodrigo! Embarrassed and enraged, Wilfred rushed off for home. But in his haste, and miles from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. And there he lay. Wilfred was beginning to get a little bit worried. He was past his home time now, and the monsters would be out soon. He had just ruled out the last of his options. Noop, 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 yeah. When along came the moose and performed Rule 73 brilliantly, rescuing your owner from perilous situations. All was forgiven, and perhaps, Wilford admitted, he'd never really owned the moose anyway. With that in mind, he and the moose reached a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilfred's rules whenever it suited him. Dominic, you're back, and you brought me an apple. The end.